Causes and companies all over the world use their Facebook business page as a key component of a broader social media marketing strategy. For consumers, liking Facebook pages for causes, bands, or anything else you're passionate about is an easy and effective way to stay up to date on their latest news and events. However, liking too many pages will clutter your newsfeed and make it harder to keep track of your family, friends, and all of the other updates you actually care about. Maybe, you've reached Facebook's limit of 5,000 pages liked and you're ready to scale back. Or like me, you liked silly pages in the past and you no longer relate. If you know your feed is too cluttered and you're ready to do some cleaning, unliking multiple Facebook pages at once is the way to go. Welcome to Newbie Computers Channel. Go to my GitHub page and find the Facebook Unlike a repository, download the zipped code to your PC, extract it and place it where you want it. Go to the extension page in your browser, in this example I'm using Chrome. Ensure that the developer mode checkbox in the top right hand. Click load unpacked extension to pop up a file selection dialog and select your directory. If the extension is valid, it'll be loaded up and active right away. Ensure that the enabled box next to your Chrome extension is checked. Now go to Facebook page, make sure you're logged in. Reload the page to make sure the extension is loaded properly. Go to your profile page. Click more button and select likes menu, you will be redirected to a page containing a list of likes that you have done. Now, wait and watch that the script starts working, otherwise you will have to reload the page to reload the script. The script will run automatically, unlike, scroll and reload the page if it reaches certain conditions. If you feel it's not fast enough or too fast you can modify the script to work at the interval you need. How long the script will take depends on the number of likes you have done, you can also stop it by disabling the extension, then reloading the page, this will stop the execution of the script. Now you can leave your computer, go take a break or have a cup of coffee, let this script do the work, you don't have to tirelessly waste your time and energy. As a side note, this script can also work with exceptions, if you want to keep some Facebook accounts or posts you like, you can add exception list in script. I'll show you how later. Make sure you disable the extension, reload the Facebook page to make sure the script stops working. Go to the folder where the extension is located, open the unlike.js file, you can open it with your favorite text editor. The interval in milliseconds is how long it takes for each unlike action to wait for the next action, Wait underscore delay in seconds is how long it takes to start working after the page is reloaded. 
Reload underscore after underscore unlikes is the number of unlikes specified to reload the page to update the displayed list. And the variable ignore underscore names is a list containing the names of the accounts that will be ignored. You can add, subtract and edit this list as you wish. Save the file and don't forget to always reload the extension on the extension page and reload the Facebook page every time you modify the script. Now, the script will work according to the options you have made. The script will not unlike any account names in the ignore underscore names list, and it will run continuously until you terminate it or there are no more accounts left. Please note, if one day Facebook changes the layout, it's possible that this script will no longer work. For that you can modify the script, adjust to the existing layout, or you can tell me and I will update the script as soon as I have free time. I have also tried this script on Opera Browser and Edge Browser, and it works as expected. If you have anything to add you can modify this script for your needs. This extension consists of three files namely, manifest.json, popup.html and unlike.js. All Chrome extensions require a manifest file. This manifest file tells everything to the Chrome it needs to know to properly load up in the Chrome. Developers should specify which version of the manifest specification their package targets by setting a manifest underscore version key in their manifests. Name and description can be anything you'd like. Version is your Chrome extension version. When an extension adds a little icon next to your address bar, that's a browser underscore action. Your extension can listen for clicks on that button and then do something. If the extension doesn't need a pop-up then both default underscore title and default underscore pop-up can be removed. Content underscore scripts are files that run in the context of web pages, in this case, we will only have one file that is unlike .js. This is a pop-up.html containing information and the page that will open when the user presses your extension button in the top corner of the browser. You can fill anything in this file according to the function and description of your extension. And the last is the unlike.js file, this is a JavaScript file that contains the functions and code for your extension, this is the place if you want to add functionality or improve the way the extension works according to your needs. If you have suggestions, complaints, ideas, please leave a comment, I will really appreciate it. Thank you.